So uh, I, I know I'm going early in the evening, but I have a uh, horrible celebrity iPod to oh, share. Oh, let's hear it. Uh, I'm going to nominate Steve Jobs himself, uh, both for the delicious irony and for the fact that he would bring uh, John Mayer up to the stage to introduce the invention of the iPod. Like picture him loading up that first iPod, right? Yes. What was the first one, a 20-gig iPod? I think it was less. I think we started out at, uh, like, four gigs. We started out as one? What are you, what? Come well, on. Well, we, we the world. We the world. Okay, fair enough. So you picture him loading up that first iPod and put, he's like, well, of course I got to get some, my friend John Mayer on here. He's dragging over your body as a wonderland, right? Yes. Probably some live track of him just soloing, like, his cover of, like, Voodoo Child. Yes. Also, I would imagine like a Coldplay, like a, you know, some kind of really like slow zoned out Coldplay tracks. Yeah, yeah. He got some Coldplay. Well, he put U2 on there because he's pals with, with all those goons. The goons in U2, right? Mm-hmm. So he would... Uh, for, for for the man that invented or claims to have invented uh, this whole new way of listening to music, I, I just don't think he's up to the task from a from a musical taste perspective. Now he'd put, you know what he'd probably put on there. He'd probably put that uh, that uh, that U two thing, the the one that the Edge sang. That one, remember that song? <laughs> that was a novelty song. Put the Edge in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for that novelty U two song he did. The one time they let him sing one. <laughs> well, also, I think also that, maybe like a like a Jack Johnson track. I feel like he would put in there. Yeah, some like chill music, right? He probably have like old, some weird man's music, some weird speeches on there too, right? Weird Eisenhower speech, <laughs> Churchill. Who, 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 do, who do you think his favorite politician would have been? His favorite politician? I don't know. Steve Jobs seems like a great. That's a. That's a that guy made the world worse, man. That guy made the world a lot worse. We don't need this trash he 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 uh he, he uh saddled us with. Remember when when things were supposed to get easier with technology? How much easier is it? Is it easier for all everybody or is everybody in a panic worried why uh they they can't get a thing to load because it didn't update correctly? It was. I'm or, telling you, uh, the, to the to the to, to the the teens listening. It was actually simpler before all this trash entered everybody's life. I'm telling you. Am I right, Mike? I think so. You pull it off the shelf, put it on the record player. The music comes out pretty straightforward. Yeah. You know what the best part was? Nobody could get a hold of you. Oh yeah, I wasn't home. I called you. Yeah. Well, then you left a message. I wasn't home. I heard it when I got home. Not, why didn't you pick up? Now you're like, hi, bye, bye, bye. I gotta lie and say, uh, but I didn't get the, I left my phone, in the, I couldn't get the thing to fall. No, back then. Yeah, I got your message. Now so I'm calling you, you back. Did, did, did you have a first generation iPod? When was your first iPod? My first iPod would have been a 40 gig iPod. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's laying around somewhere. It's a piece of a piece of garbage. All right, you're bumming me out. Goodbye. I'm gonna bring my guest in. Let's bring Jake Fogelnest into the studio. Can you show him to the studio, Mike? He found his own way. Okay. <laughs> All right, you put the cans on. Yeah, get up on the mic. Get it. Yeah. He should get up on that, right, Jason? Yeah. Get up on it. Fant, like James Brown said, get up on... As featured in the Entourage trailer. It was. The Entourage trailer, which... Uh, I'm pumped for that movie. I gotta yeah. tell you. No, I'm there opening day. So Gronk dancing around. <laughs> and like that that list of... When they list all the celebrity... like all the ca- First of all, why'd they list all the cameos? Because like... How many tickets are they going to sell because they said, guys, we're going to give you a little heads up, army hammers in this <laughs> thing. What? Well, like, I wasn't going to see it. 
But now you that tell me pushes it over the yeah, edge. You tell me Army Hammer is in the Entourage movie. All right, I'll see it. Fine, I'll see the Entourage movie with Army because I'm a huge Army Hammer fan. Army Hammer. He actually he pulls it a lot overseas. <laughs> it probably That's is something I mean. <laughs> like that. Like you, Entourage does, it does very well domestic, but it has no cachet <laughs> overseas. So. You want to know what? That's that. You're I. I would bet you're completely right on that. Yeah, did you see the Entourage trailer? Entourage. We're going to see the uh, Army Hammer has a new movie out. Some amorphous accent I'm doing. <laughs> Just foreign. <laughs> yeah, you know, not here. <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, that voice I just did, <laughs> just oh. and the, somebody people going to it, it's like the Lone Ranger. It's the movie with the Lone Ranger. <laughs> like whatever country it, the it, Lone Ranger was enormous in in in, uh, in <laughs> overseas. It's it's not even called Entourage. It's it's the the Lone Ranger too. Yeah. Lone Ranger they in just, Los yeah. Angeles. They just go, yeah. <laughs> the Lone Ranger. Yeah, that's what they market it as. And they just hope that they don't get caught <laughs> by, like, because nobody's going to monitor. I'm going to list who these cameos are in this thing. Yeah. That they roll over the closing, over the trailer. They 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 give you this blast of who's in this thing. And it's you're just like, okay, here we go. Get ready for this list of who's who's. Calvin Harris, I yeah. don't know who that is. He's he's like a, a EDM guy okay. that's going out with Taylor Swift okay. as of last week. Jessica Alba, uh-huh. Russell Wilson, quarterback from the Seattle uh, Seattle uh, Seahawks, Emily Ratajkowski, who who's the woman from the Blurred Lines, sure, uh, yeah, from that. Why not just say like as yeah. the the woman from the Blurred Lines yeah. music video? Yeah, the one who from that. Uh, I think they call that video Exhibit A, <laughs> is what that video should be called. Liam Neeson, and he's flipping the bird in the trailer. So, And he's in a car, mm-hmm. which means, oh, Liam Neeson didn't get out of his car to be in this thing. <laughs> I'll be in the Entourage movie. We just I'm, need you for yeah. like, yeah, we need you for like 45 minutes. Hey, Liam. Uh, yeah. I'm not getting, a, he's not getting out of his car. Like somebody comes over to like Doug yeah. Allen. Liam. Is on his way. Good news, bad news. Uh-huh. He's on his way. Yeah. Bad news. He said he won't get out of his car. He's going. You know what? I can make it work. He wants to I can make it work. It. It's just fine. It's fine. He's, we'll get out of here a little early. He's shooting his scene from his car. <laughs> or he wants to get into the car that you're paying him with to be in this. Like, he gets out of a car and gets into the car that is his payment for being in this thing and leaves in it. Ronda Rousey, who is a uh, an MMA fighter, uh-huh. she's well, she's prominently featured. Yeah, because she she thrashes a uh, uh, turtle, Jerry mm-hmm. Ferrara, uh, in the friend trial. of the show, friend of the show, friend of yours. That's why he <laughs> he came on the show because you vouched for me. So look, he's a great. I, I'm he's into great. it. I'm into it. I've never met him. We just we corresponded over Twitter. Uh, because I had heard that he had had a uh, oh, <laughs> Tom, wake up. <laughs> oh no, I was. It was cracking my neck. Um, no, we because I had heard that he had had a podcast, and so mm-hmm. I got very excited about that, and I just started tweeting about Jerry Ferrara having a podcast and making fake ads for it, and and then he, <laughs> and then he's like, not sure what your end game is here, but it seems like you're into it, and you see, you know, yeah. He, well, he sent he's like he sent a tweet like Jake Fogelnest is pretty funny, and it was like it was very clear like, hey man, this got back to me. And then, yeah. I, and then all of a sudden, and now I'm friends with Turtle. He's got a sense of humor about yeah, himself. He yes, he yeah. should. That's just great. That's all. That's all anybody would ever ask of him is to just like, yeah. I mean, Entourage is a, a fun it's a show romp. that's yeah. that is ridiculous, and people enjoyed it for the ridiculousness of it. But push comes to shove, they enjoy it. Well, yeah. I love it. I've, I've seen, seen every, every episode. episode of, yeah. yeah, every single episode. Have of I episode. seen every episode of Deadwood? No, I haven't. No. I still am, I never finished season three of it. Did I watch every episode of Entourage? Yes, when they aired, <laughs> yeah. I did. No, it, was, it wasn't even DVR'd. No. <laughs> you would leave Lies. places. I'd be like, I need to get home. Yeah. Entourage and, is on. And HBO Go existed for like the at least the last year of Entourage. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Nope. You, yeah, no, too. don't need it. Pharrell, uh-huh. George Takei, 
Andrew Dice Clay, the Dice Man, he's, and he's wearing a Rollin' with Dice and Wheels shirt in it, which is his podcast, mm-hmm. which he does with, uh, with this, Wheels this long with time. Wheels, uh, per- Parisi. Yeah, he's, he's road manager, right? Yes. Yeah. David Spade. It's War- it's- Warren Buffett. Like who? What's interesting is a couple of these people, like, I have a list of worst celebrity iPad, mm-hmm. iPods, and a couple of the people in the Entourage movie are on that <laughs> also list. Have, like, who's seeing the movie for Warren Buffett being in it? Like, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited about Warren Buffett. Uh, and on this, it looks like he's on, like, a, uh, like, he's on, like, a golf cart. Like, like, he's, he's, like, looking from a, from, clearly from a vehicle. That he's also not that, getting. I, I off think that of. was the deal. Like no one would get out of a, whatever vehicle that they were in to get there. Hey, it's pretty cool, Warren Buffett. Hey, Warren, you got any tips for me? Yeah, get out of acting. <laughs> Golf cart drives off. <laughs> Army Hammer, and he looks like he's in the house. He looks like he's on land. Like he's standing. Mm-hmm. He's like, there's different levels to the cameos here. Are you on your feet or in a vehicle? Look, Army wants to know if he can drive a go kart uh, through the thing. No, you tell Army he's got to have his feet on the ground to be in this thing. Tom Brady, who is sitting, he's on a plane. So every, what is this with this lack of movement from these guys? It's like the, it's like the it's it's like they're watching the entourage. Like people watching the movie are are exerting more energy than these cameos. <laughs> Everyone's sitting in them. Tom Brady, oh K Dog is in it. Kelsey Grammer, uh, who's going? He's standing, but he's going toward a car. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Ed O'Neill, who's getting out of a car. Yeah. Oh my god, what is, is this the, like? The whole, does the Entourage movie, it just takes place in a parking lot. <laughs> it seems like a car whole dealership. The whole, whole thing was filmed at a car show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, just, yeah. Ed O'Neill is getting in a car, T.I., who's sitting, and Mark Wahlberg, who, uh, they zoomed in on for this. I, I, I That's did, green screen, for sure. Did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, come on guys, you're gonna do the celebrity cameo. Put shoes on. For it, right? That's all we're asking. <laughs> Move. I got to find out some of the some of the re- realities of the the cameos on this. We get. Well, we have you read the script to the movie? No, I did not want. I know it's floating around. I wanted nothing yeah. to do with it. I can go into that movie now, just seeing it and being like, I didn't know any. And first of all, they probably rewrote half the stuff because they wanted they had to. to. Be, they they want. They want it to be why? Who? Who is well, it? Well, the, the draft. The well, the draft that I had uh, read mm-hmm. uh, had uh, Kate Upton uh, playing a very prominent role as herself. Okay. Uh, and and then the end. The ending of the movie mm-hmm. was not finished. First okay. of all, I think it was something like 147 pages. Okay. And then at, it ends with literally maybe Vince wins an Oscar? <laughs> Question no. mark. I swear. Oh, no. I swear. But that's just a thing they're just getting. They want it to it was be a, of the most. Sure. Like, I feel like, first of all, Kate Upton's nowhere to be found in this trailer. I don't know no. if she's in the thing unless that's a secret. I hope there's some secret cameos in here that they didn't tell us about, like, uh, you know. Robert Durst. Robert Durst <laughs> be in there. Like, what if they punch <laughs> him in real fast? Yeah. They shoot a thing with him just in a car. He's clearly wearing, like, an orange jumpsuit, but they're trying to like make it look like he's just like, "Welcome to Los Angeles, guys." <laughs> he's Ari's going to be his agent. <laughs> yeah, you made my new client, the Jinx. <laughs> yeah, hey, you signed the Jinx. Yeah. Hey, do you know if they're uh, casting for season two of the Jinx? <laughs> you should do the Jinx. Hey, a drama. You should kill someone. Maybe you'll get an HBO show. <laughs> That's the only way you get on HBO. Hey, what about Viking Quest? Viking Quest. Little. I wonder if there'll be a, a the Viking Quest thing in the movie. Like there a has to be. Like a, well, I wonder if that's like a spinoff Netflix movie. Like they actually just oh, make. Like, like the Marvel Universe? Yeah. 
they or get. Netflix brings back Viking Quest. What? what? <laughs> yeah, or it's everything like, it's, else is coming back now. It's the first eBay original series. <laughs> Where you bid on, <laughs> you have to bid on not getting it sent to you. <laughs> like, this, like, all these things like, hey, Mr. Show is coming back. Oh, that's the greatest thing I ever heard. Hey, Arrested Development's back. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Hey, X-Files is coming back. Awesome. Hey, Twin Peaks is coming back. All right, my favorite. Hey, Full House is coming back. All right, who wanted that? Who ordered that? It's like you're looking around. <laughs> it's like a lunch order, and you're not sure who ordered some disgusting thing. Um, Who ordered uh, Full House coming back? Um, Big news. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. You've been waiting for it. It's back. But who wants no full, full House? Like it's the the plot line that the, this the most meaningless thing ever. Like it's not none of the feeling of when you were a kid is going to be re- recreated when it comes back. If that's what you want from it, because now Bob Saget is like a, a pervert. Yeah, it's like he like at that point on the show he was just playing this guy. Now he's he's had a he's had fifteen years of just being. An unrelenting pervert yeah. working against that image. The only one that that is like, I, I guess, the guy who plays Joey. Like he hasn't, like, because Stamos is like, you know, a sex symbol guy. Yeah, yeah. And and like, but like, I in guess his, in his yogurt commercials, <laughs> Oikos, Oy, Oikos, is that what that yogurt's called? Does he need? Like, what, does he need what, to do yogurt commercials? What's that yogurt called, Mike? Yo-play? No, not yo. Oh, this guy. Dan- I'm Dan- telling you. <laughs> Dan and you'll play. Mike, I gotta remember who I'm talking to here. <laughs> Mike's old school. Oh, Mike's eating some old school yogurt out there. Right? He's probably got the, the fruit at the bottom. Right? I've never eaten yogurt in my life. You've, he's <laughs> never eaten yogurt. You've never tried it? And you didn't like it? Oh, what a... You ever have Froyo? Do you like Froyo? It was okay. Well, so. Sorry, it all can't be Cold Stone Creamery, my man.